Let's figure out how to sketch a hyperboloid of one sheet. A hyperboloid of one sheet has an equation that looks like this. This hyperboloid will be centered at the origin. So it's given by the equation x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared plus actually a minus z squared over c squared is equal to 1. That word hyperboloid probably sounds an awful lot like hyperbola. And you'll see the connection between hyperbolas and this hyperboloid. To begin, let's look at the traces. The traces of the surface that's described by this equation can be used to help us identify the shape that we're dealing with. Let's start with the yz trace. The yz trace is the trace that is given by the line of intersection between a plane that is parallel to the yz plane such that its normal vector is parallel to the x-axis. That trace, that plane then, is given by the equation x equals 0. Therefore, we'll plug x equals 0 into our equation, giving us y squared over b squared minus z squared over c squared is equal to 1. Notice that this is a hyperbola. The equation of a hyperbola in the yz plane. And that equation of the hyperbola in the yz plane, well, you might remember when you studied hyperbolas, you could create equations of the hyperbola. I am going to come out here on the positive y-axis and minus b on the negative y-axis. Let's go to c on the positive z-axis and minus c on the negative z-axis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a basic sketch of a hyperbola. This box, if we connect lines going through opposite diagonals of this box, these lines will help us with the shape of our hyperbola. So our hyperbola will look something like this. Okay, there's our hyperbola. And that's a hyperbola in the zy plane, and that would be the sketch of the line of intersection as the zy or the yz plane intersects our surface given by the equation. Let's now look at the xy trace. Now to look at the xy trace, we will set z equals to 0 because the xy trace is given based off of a plane that's parallel to the xy axis. And that plane parallel to the xy axis will have a normal vector parallel to the z axis. This means that the equation of the plane is z equals 0, and this alters our equation, substituting z equals 0 into our equation gives us x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. Notice this is an ellipse in the xy plane. That ellipse in the xy plane would look like this. So now we're getting some perspective to our hyperboloid. Let's do another trace. Let's do a trace located at the value of c, for example. 
z equals c. Well, if we did the z equals c trace, that means we are setting z equals to c into our equation. This would be x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared minus, oh, c squared over c squared is equal to 1. Here, let's just write that out. And when we rearrange this, this is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 2. Dividing both sides by 2 gives us x squared over root 2a quantity squared plus y squared over b root 2 quantity squared equals 1. Notice this is another equation of an ellipse. This ellipse is parallel to the xy plane, and if we were to imagine looking down from the xy axis, our ellipse would look something like this. And we can go down to minus c and do a trace. It would look something like this. In fact, if c were any other value, let's say c were equal to d, for example. We'll start here. Well, so if c, if z were equals to d, we would have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared minus d squared over c squared is equal to 1. In fact, if you use other values of z equals d, where d could be any value, any positive value, or negative value even, you would get a series of ellipses that are parallel to the xy plane. Notice these ellipses describe a shape. It helps give perspective to our yz trace. And notice this is the sketch of a hyperboloid of one sheet. It's called a hyperboloid of one sheet because there is only one surface. Other hyperboloids have two sheets, so there would be two surfaces. But this hyperboloid of one sheet is one continuous surface, kind of looking like a nuclear cooling tower. Now, we didn't do the, the xz or the zx trace, but if we did, the zx trace would be found by setting y equals to 0, because that trace is given by taking a plane that is parallel to the zx plane. That plane will have an axis, a normal vector, that is parallel to the y-axis. And when we take that plane, when that plane intersects our surface, it will produce two lines of intersection for this shape. And those lines of intersection are our traces in the zx plane. So, so the equation of the plane that allows us to create the trace is the y equals, z, y equals 0 equation. That would give us a quadratic equation when we substitute y equals 0 in of x squared over a squared minus z squared over c squared is equal to 1. And you should recognize that this is a hyperbola in the zx plane. If we were to add that to our sketch, that would look probably something similar to this.
And there is our sketch of our hyperboloid.